Hi there, everyone. It's Ifti from Extreme Returns. Thank you for joining me. I'm trying out something new. So if it doesn't quite work out, bear with me. I'm going to try and deliver some important news uh, items and clips and articles I've come across within five minutes. This doesn't include the intro. So let's get that over with very quickly. Chartered management accountant, worked for Unilever and Mars, worked in recruitment consultancy. I've set up multiple businesses, estate agency, car hire. Go over to my, uh, this YouTube uh, fun cartoon I made. If you type in if you deem my story, one and a half minutes. I've been featured on the BBC um, and lots of other places as well. Check out my channel as well. Uh, it's got 88 subscribers, trying to get up to 100 by the end of the month. If we can, it's the 17th of February. Um, I joined Extreme Returns, sorry, joined eToro as Extreme Returns. <laughs> Stats are okay, 13.9% February, 22% um, year to date, 34 copiers. Uh, this is wrong, ignore that. It's about 5% minus. Um, there's a glitch in the system. Okay, so uh, news, what's been in the news? Um, very interesting, the most important thing I'd say is I posted this article from somebody I really like, his name's Ben Carlson, CFA. Uh, do subscribe to his channel, it's called A Wealth of Common Sense, he's written books. Very briefly, I'm gonna read some of it to you because it's quite important. Uh, it's a short history of US stock market corrections and bear markets. And he says, since bottoming, bottoming last March, following the Krona crash, I uh, don't need that, the S&P 500 is up nearly 80%. And other than a brief downturn in September, the rise has gone on more or less unabated in terms of corrections. And you can see the graph. Since 1950, the S&P 500 has experienced 36 double digit drawdowns. That works out to one every other year or so on average. So maybe we're closing in on being due for a breather, but these things don't occur on a set schedule. The stock market has been highly volatile since the turn of the century, experiencing crashes of 50%, 57%, and 34%. It's possible this level of heightened volatility is going to remain for the foreseeable future with an assist from the internet. But markets can go through extremely long run-ins before sell-offs. This is the important point. The longest the market has gone without a double-digit correction since 1950, seven years from 1990 to 1997. <clears throat> then, from 2002 to 2007, there was a four-and-a-half-year drought with no corrections. This may surprise some people, but the, the third longest streak of no market corrections over the past 70 years also was a four, four years from late 2011 through to late 2015. And he gives a lot of information here. So um, what he goes on to talk about is um, how long, um, sorry, uh, about all these market corrections, nobody knows when it's coming. I thought that was quite interesting. Um, this was quite an interesting article. I've posted it on my feed. Bitcoin trades above 50,000 for the first time. Um, up more than 74% this year. If you look at my holding of Bitcoin, it's up 90, nearly 91%. Um, and this, I think, in, is in the Wall Street Journal. Yes, it is. Um, and it talks about the circulation of it is nearing, nearing a trillion dollars. The other interesting article I came across was this one about Shopify. Now, Shopify is one of my um, holdings. In fact, I've increased it. That's why the stats only show 12% because I've just recently added more to it. Um, and again, Wall Street, uh, Wall Street Journal, Shopify's secret weapon is thousands of new business owners. And it talks about how there's been a business boom because of um, people using Shopify to make uh, online stores and selling goods and services uh, and how it's making it uh, much easier. There was another article I saw, I can't find it at the moment, but Amazon have recently bought the Australian version of Shopify and they're going to go into competition with Shopify. I think 
that's actually a good thing because it will grow the market. And Shopify is so many miles ahead of the competition. So um, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Please do consider copying me. If you're already copying me, please spread the word. I really would enjoy uh, or appreciate more people joining me on this financial journey. It's always better to get in at, as an early investor. Also, please do consider, uh, as far as I can tell, and I'm happy to be corrected on this, the only Far East only uh, Far East account on eToro. It's my wife, uh, her name's Adiba, it's called Asian Tigers, and she invests purely in stocks and ETFs with, in the Far East, so Japan, China, Taiwan. Uh, she's included India as well, because that's where she's from. Her stats have been good, so 12% in February, and we're on the 17th. US markets haven't opened. Uh, her, <laughs> does make sense, this number, but it's, uh, again, very, very low. Portfolio is full of really good companies that have done very well. C, Maytun, U Technologies, JD, Baidu, and so on. So my name's Ifti. Thank you very much for joining me. See you guys very, very soon.